William Edward Parker was an amazing gift to all who knew him. He was born in Springfield, Illinois on March 10, 1927, and died on Saturday, July 11th at St. Anthony's Hospital after a courageous battle with lung cancer. As a young man, he served for one year in the Army stationed in Alaska before attending college at the University of Illinois. At the University of Illinois, he graduated with a BSBA in accounting and went on to law school and received his JD in 1952. He was a member of Delta Tau Delta fraternity. He started his career as a CPA with Arthur Anderson in Chicago and transferred to the Tampa Bay area in 1963. He retired as a tax partner in 1983 after a long successful career. He was very proud of his accomplishments and association with Arthur Anderson. In 1952, my grandfather married my grandmother, Mumsy, or Margaret McCoy, or Peggy Parker, with whom he enjoyed a wonderful 40 years of marriage. In 1994, after my grandmother's death in 1992, my grandfather married Doria Karamperlis. They, too, enjoyed a loving relationship, which was built on their common belief of the importance of a strong sense of family. My grandfather was father to three beautiful daughters. He thought the world of his daughters and is so proud of their tremendous accomplishments in life. My grandfather as father of the bride. Julie Lilly, his oldest daughter, married her husband Richard, and they now reside in Double Oak, Texas. My mom married my dad, Pete Wiggs, and they reside at Peachtree City, Georgia today. My Aunt Molly, my grandfather's youngest daughter, married her husband Ken, and they reside in White House Station, New Jersey. My grandfather thought the world of his three son-in-laws and enjoyed many rounds of golf with them and unforgettable memories. To us grandchildren, my grandfather was known as Popsy. He was the most wonderful person we have ever met. We have so many wonderful memories with my grandfather. Popsy is survived by his grandchildren, Matt Lilly, Katie Granger, Luke and Megan Wiggs, Amanda Parker, and Trey Feldman, and his step-grandchildren, Lee Sims, Elizabeth Schaefer, Jennifer, Stephanie, and Jonathan Krampus, Kirk and Devin Waters, and his step-great-grandson, Walker Sims. I enjoyed many magical Christmases with my grandfather and grandmother. We loved his pool. And sailing on his boat, we had many awesome times.
or even sitting in his lap or playing golf with him. My grandfather was the master of everything. He could fix or build anything you can imagine. You would never win a game of Jenga with him. He was always into technology and the latest games. We could never figure out how to turn on his TV. To this day, we still could not figure out how to work his 15 remotes. He was an avid golfer, bridge player, and was the family champion of Sudoku and Liar's Poker. On March 10, 2007, we got to celebrate my grandfather's 80th birthday in Atlanta at my home, where we had an amazing weekend. It was so much fun celebrating 80 wonderful years of William Parker with our entire family. Last summer, my grandfather gave his family an amazing gift of a fabulous trip to Greece, which he named It's a Blast, and it truly was. He wanted to fulfill his and Doria's dream to have their children visit Greece and to give them an opportunity to become better acquainted as a family. It was an amazing gift and trip that left his family with fond memories that will be treasured forever. My grandfather, Popsy, was a longtime member of the St. Petersburg Yacht Club, Feather Sound Country Club, the Benoit Club, and Treasure Island Tennis and Yacht Club. He served as chairman of the Board of Abilities and also served on the boards of the Feather Sound and the Florencia Owners Association. Thank you for the memories. We will treasure them forever. William E. Parker, Mr. Parker, Bill, Popsy, an amazing gift. Those we love don't go away. They walk beside us every day. Unseen, unheard, but always near. Still love, still missed, and very dear. And loving memory of William E. Parker. From all your family, we will love you forever.